action button to send email template to current record. What are the steps for creating an action that sends an email template to current record? I created the email template and the action, but I'm stuck at setting the actions referenced rows. Okay, so there's a little confusion here. So um, it's not an action that you want to create to send this work to send this email. Um, what you want to do is you want to create an automation. Um, and so the idea I'm thinking is somebody submits a record through the app and you want an email with like the details from that record sent to you or whoever, right? Uh, so the way you go about that is not with an action, um, but you'd create an automation. And so it would be, you know, like on um, an ad to whatever table you're talking about. And the step that you would run would be to send an email and then it's inside that task where there's a space that says what template do you want to use and that's where you put that it also there's also a space where you can say who do you want to send the email to and so then whenever somebody saves the record then an email will be sent with all the details according to your template and all of that uh, so it's inside automation that you want to do that not actions if you want to be able to trigger the this email by pushing an action. If you wanna do that, you'd have to come up with a way to trigger that automation to run based on the uh, button push instead of the app being, instead of the record being added. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, you'd have to include an additional column. The way that the traditional way to do this is to include an additional column. I usually call it, um, I used to call it workflow trigger. Now I'm gonna call it, now I'm gonna call it automation trigger um, so the way to do that is to include another column that's hidden that's just a text field um, called like automation trigger or something and the idea is you can create an action that sets the value to that column that's hidden so nobody sees it it's just like a system trigger field um, so you create an action that sets you know trigger into that field and so then you have an automation that's looking for any updates to that table. And the condition for that one is only when the automation trigger equals triggered or whatever word you come up with that you wanna use, you know, go, initiate, execute, engage, whatever. So then when you do that, when you, when you push the action, it puts the value in the field and then that will trigger the automation to send it off. Now, a thing that you have to remember to do is in the automation, you also need to create another action that clears that trigger word. So you need an action to put one, put the trigger in the automation field and then one to take it out. So the button to put the flag in the trigger field is visible. That's the thing that people can push that says send email or whatever. So that one they can do that, that one they can do themselves. The automation then runs a couple of steps. The first one is it clears that trigger the second one is it sends the email. Clearing the, clearing the trigger is an important thing. Otherwise, every time an edit's made to that, that thing's going to go off again. And you'll start getting emails all over the place. <laughs> uh, I hope that helps. Let me know. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel with all the algorithm stuff that's going on I'm trying to build. Also, if you really want to show your love, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. There's some goodies over there. It's 10 bucks a month. I got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the community.